Another silly season domino has fallen, plus Chase Elliott loses one of his sponsors. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Silly season continues to roll on, but another domino will fall on Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. when the Wood Brothers will officially announce that Josh Berry will be taking over the famed number 21 car in 2025, replacing the departing Harrison Burton, whose NASCAR Cup Series career up to this point has been a massive failure for being completely honest and 92 starts in the cup series he has one top five finish and five top tens not exactly ideal and by the time the season's out i don't expect those numbers to really get any better Harrison Burton came into the Cup Series, though, uh, with some promise, right? He had four Xfinity Series wins in 2020, didn't have any in 2021, but, you know, the Xfinity Series gets a little bit more competitive year in and year out, so I think people kind of chalked it up to that. He brings some sponsorship over to the 21 car. They replace uh, Matt Benedetto with Harrison Burton, and with Matty D, we kind of knew what the ceiling was. With Harrison Burton, we weren't sure what the ceiling was going to be. Turns out it was probably lower than what Matt D was at, at the time. Not that Matt Benedetto was a race winner, but certainly Harrison Burton has not been anywhere near a contender for even top tens week in and week out up to this point. And people complain about, you know, the lack of support from Team Penske and the equipment's not that good and this and that. At the end of the day, the cars that he's been running around have been able to ramp up their competitiveness, and he just has not been able to to this point. So Josh Berry will be taking over the ride in 2025. He's coming off a pretty strong start to his NASCAR Cup Series rookie season. Obviously, he substituted for Chase Elliott uh, last season as well in the Cup Series. And in his 31 starts in the Cup Series, he has three top five finishes and seven top tens already, which is substantially better than Harrison Burton. Granted, he was in Hendrick equipment uh, for a little bit of that time but this year alone he already has two top fives and uh four top tens so when you look at it i mean josh barry with a team that knows it's going away and constantly week in and week out they're just trying to hold on to their guys to make it to phoenix in november he's weathered a storm so far and he and rodney have just gotten stronger as the year has gone on i mean this past weekend he started on the front row faded during the race kind of came back for a respectable finish but for the most part over the last month month and a half that four team has shown a lot of speed and now Josh will be headed over to the Wood Brothers, which I think is a great get for them. I think a mature presence is probably what that team needs. And Josh Berry fits that Wood Brothers racing mold so so well i mean he's a racer through and through he's a grassroots guy he doesn't bring money like he didn't come from money he's not buying rides like his predecessor did for you know lack of a better example right off the <laughs> the bat there but he does bring a ton of experience he has incredible racecraft and he's a guy that is definitely more mature you know at 34 years old he brings a level of maturity to the ride, which I think goes a long way. His critical thinking is substantially better than a lot of these younger guys, and his ability to control his emotions goes a long way as well. So for Josh, getting into this car is a great move, and like for the Wood Brothers, they're just hard-nosed racers. Josh Berry, same way. I think they're going to click really well, and Josh just kind of fits the whole vibe of the Wood Brothers. Remember when Blaney was there, and he just felt it felt comfortable. It felt normal. It felt like this was what it was always supposed to be. And then you knew they were eventually going to move him into Team Penske. But when he was at the Wood Brothers, that was a fun time. The Josh Berry merch rollout for the 21 team next year should be absolutely phenomenal. And I don't typically support drivers on this channel. I don't, you know, have a, a dog in the fight most weekends or, or ever, really. I just like to see a, a good winner, good race, good story that comes out of it. You can bet your ass I'll probably be buying a Josh Berry uh, hat or shirt for for next season. Uh, it's cool to see guys get to where they uh, want to go to the top tier of motorsport just based on talent, essentially. And he probably does bring a little bit of money with him with this partnership that he has with Harrison's and maybe one or two others, but certainly not anything like what we've seen other drivers bring. Now, the biggest question is, will Rodney Childers join him? One guy on Twitter said, I'm ready to throw hands if Rodney doesn't join. And Bob Pocker said, well, you might want to start icing your hands now. So that doesn't sound, uh, doesn't sound encouraging. And that's unfortunate because I think Rodney and Josh together could be a really formidable pair. But Rodney Childers is easily the most sought after crew chief or anybody on the free agent market right now. Driver, crew member alike. Rodney Childers is somebody that everybody wants. And if Rodney wants to continue crew chiefing, which it sounded like he did when he did his Sirius XM interview, uh, what, two weeks ago now, I guess at this point, where he mentioned he wants to win a Daytona 500, wants another championship. So if he wants to continue on in a big team throwing money at him, I get it, right? Uh, at the end of the day, like Team Penske could throw money at him and get him to come over for the Wood Brothers, potentially to do it there. But 
you know, I think there's probably some other options out there with bigger teams, uh, bigger budgets, more resources than, than maybe what the Wood Brothers uh, can provide. And again, it's part of Team Penske, but there's a, there's a difference been working for, I'm just throwing out a name like a team, like a Hendrick or Gibbs or somebody like that, than potentially working on the fourth car at, at, you know, within the Penske stable. So I would like to see Rodney go. I'm just not sure that's where he's going to end up, which is unfortunate. But for Josh, it's cool that he will land uh, another Cup Series ride. Moving on to the car that Josh drove last year in a select number of races while Chase Elliott was nursing a broken leg. Uh, Chase Elliott loses one of his sponsors. So since 2017, Hooters has been a sponsor. Um, with Chase Elliott, they will no longer be on his car. Obviously, Hooters has... Uh, encountered some financial struggles, right? They announced that they're closing upwards of like 44 stores, I believe, is what they, they talked about. Turns out that not only are they closing stores, but they need to cut back on their marketing budget. And they only had one race left on the calendar this year for for a sponsorship of that nine car, which is at Richmond, later in the summer. That will not be happening. Uh, they will instead have to find a new title sponsor, primary sponsor title sponsor primary sponsor for chase elliott for that event uh it appears that hendrick motorsports and hooters have come to an agreement to part ways and not have the sponsorship on that car but hey hooters at least is going out on top right they just picked up a victory with chase elliott back at texas his first victory since uh 2022 and you know got all the headlines out of that and they finally go back into victory lane after alan kawicki took him there so what 30 ish years 30 years uh since they had been there Chase Elliott took him back to victory lane, uh, which is a cool story, right? Uh, it's unfortunate to see Hooters leave. Obviously, they're only on the car for three races this season, but it's one of those like sponsors that's been around NASCAR for a long time. It brings back some nostalgia to it, and it's cool to see a, uh, a B2C sponsor that's in the series, right? We see so many B2B deals, and that's fine. Like It puts race cars on track. I'll never complain about it. But it's cool to have a sponsor that a consumer can go and support. If you're a Chase Elliott fan, you can go support Hooters and you can get the wings or whatever that special deal was. I guess that's probably gone now, too. Um, but yeah, so you could actually go spend your money and put your money behind the driver that you liked, you know, from their sponsor. No offense to like Freightliner, but nobody's going out and buying a Freightliner uh, semi truck. It's just typically isn't happening or a you know cincinnati cnc machine or a haas cnc machine those aren't consumer products those are business products that you know are commercial grade and you're not generally not having one sit out in your garage i'd love to have a haas cnc machine in my garage that'd be pretty sick just not logical to do that I had to run some more electricity too and i just really don't want to have to hassle with that is what it comes down to well and the fact that i don't have space for it who cares moving on though chase elliott loses a sponsor Bummer. Um, sad to see Hooters go. But hey, uh, you know, at least they were here since 2017, if you want to look at a positive note. So let me know in the comments what you think about Josh Berry headed to the Wood Brothers and about Chase Elliott losing Hooters as a sponsor. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.